What's up? It's your favorite girls in the whole wide world. And it's time for another episode of The Bang Bang! Hey! I don't want to talk about this shit. Chris Corbin shit is stupid. <laughs> Don't know. Please stop <laughs> singing that fucking song. It's disrespectful to that man and his mama. <laughs> they just found. They just found this man, Julio. Julio. Not. They didn't just find Julio. Julio. He was the one that was rapping about the shit. That where's Corbin shit. That's on TikTok and shit. Don't stop that shit. Okay. That's somebody's real motherfucking son that is really dead. Y'all. Where's Corbin? Like, stop doing that shit. Somebody, son. Oh, so Corbin there. really did? Yes, girl. It's crazy because look at Girl, killed Corbin? Girl, they said Corbin was kidnapped and murdered. Why? But, bitch, I don't know. Maybe I should talk about it if I don't know about it. But I'm just saying, still stop fucking doing it. Damn, I'm sorry, Mike. But still, stop fucking doing it. I don't know who, I don't know who killed him, but... Apparently, Julio Fulio knows some shit. It's crazy because it's like, damn, you don't want to incriminate a nigga by saying he did some shit. But guess what? This nigga saying it. <laughs> it's like back in the day when motherfuckers would kill a motherfucker. Like, you you had the, unless you was there when the, the conversation took place about when. You, you ain't know nothing. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew the mind they be in the cause, right. They was my they being because they didn't want to be next. Cause it's like this now, not, but I think now it's so much more I'm common. Th- Why is it a discussion? It's not really something you're 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 going to get yourself in trouble. What are you yeah. doing? You don't need snitches no more. Y'all y'all tell y'all doing yourself. yourself. Like <laughs> I gotta watch my crew. No, nah, nigga, you just you just gotta shut up. It's you. <laughs> you're the, the one that's telling. You're shit. the leak. You're the mole. Anyway. Yeah, stop doing that fucking shit. Corbin is really gone, y'all. Okay? Mm. Speaking of gone, god damn, I don't know if y'all realize this shit, but, you know, it ain't gonna show up the way it's gonna show up on YouTube because it's gonna, you know, it's just the next number. But, baby, we was, uh, Alexa, play down and out by Cameron. Wasn't it Kanye West? Damn, that was a beautiful song. Down, 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 now. Oh, we was gone, honey. And I got to say, that shit happened right after we said, if you wasn't, <laughs> if you wasn't vaccinated, yeah. it was going to be a, a terrible winter. A, a, a winter filled with mm, death. Mm. Not just terrible. It was going to be some death. Some and, slow singing mm. and flower bringing. Let's sit the good right after the said. Right after the threat. Like right after that right shit. Right after the it threat. It seemed like everybody, not even just us, but everybody got sick. Everybody. Baby. Tiny and I both had got the beard. Boom, boom, boom. We was down, honey. I have never felt no shit like that in my life. If you have ever been dehydrated, that's what it feels like because this new wave of the shit has nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, all this shit attached to it now. It's like a super fucking bug. So not only I just wake up one day and my goddamn body and shit, I feel like I got my ass whooped. So I'm side-eyeing Kimbe because we had been arguing and shit. So I'm like, mm. This man beating beat. up in my sleep. Bitch. You got your one in. Listen. You is done <laughs> jumped on you the me. You <laughs> That man beat. <laughs> <laughs> that man beat my ass. <laughs> I was like, girl. No, but for real. He, he's never. No. Blink if you know. <laughs> <laughs> no. So my body fucking aching. My head is pounding. I'm like, okay, we got to shake this shit off. It's about to be Christmas. We got to open up gifts. We got to come stage the gifts and shit because I'm a firm believer of no gifts under the motherfucking tree until St. Nicholas has made it into the building. Mm-hmm. So I am like doing my best to like pull it together so I can still make this shit as magical as possible. I had both my babies. Ah! Had my son with me and, of course, Skylar. Baby. My Kyrie was here. Had my babies with me. So it was just like, I got to shake this shit, but I could not, y'all. And I didn't know what the fuck it was. And this thing I know, I'm fucking 
and I can't stop. And you know how that shit is. Like when your yeah. body is still like, girl. So come to find so out, so painful. My my baby's um, mm-hmm. his new boyfriend. Well, her middle. Because <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I don't know what that is. But look, her, her middle. Her middle or something. We got the same symptoms as me. And my boy had the, the, the mighty mind. I was like, ah. So, baby, I, listen. When I tell you, Kim Bannon drove me to every hospital. <laughs> they trying to figure out what it is. And y'all know, I don't, if you don't know, I am... Definitely afraid of needles. I don't fucking do needles. And you know, every time something wrong with your ass and you go to the hospital, they always got to do what? Blood Stick work. Them. So, <laughs> bitch, they're sticking me and get like, oh, you dehydrated. We got to give you fluid. So, they got something in this arm. I had to get two IVs in this fucking arm. <sighs> Saying all that to say, bitch. And they got me and my bitch when we was most vulnerable. But you won't get us again. You hit us when we weren't fucking looking like a bitch. Because ain't no fucking way. Because how? (laughs) That's all we could say was how. (laughs) Because how? That's all we could say was how. Like what? You got to shake and shit because you're just so hurt and just angry that you just... Then folks have the nerve. What you doing for New Year's? Nothing. I'm in the house. Hi. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I can't feel my toes. The, the <laughs> lines to get tested for COVID are around the corner. Bank I could. Like, I oh couldn't even gosh. pull into on, onto my street. You get what I'm saying? Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, I told my mom I was going to Southern, and she told me in a very colorful language. <laughs> Never to fucking go there again. So the second time I went to going to Piedmont, at least Piedmont gives a damn about you. At least they give you an update on the wait time. They're like, hey, some more doctors will be here at nine. I got there like six. Some more doctors will be here at nine. You know, they'll take care of you, blah, blah, blah. And like, girl, they gave me everything they possibly could, like, to help settle me, like, to keep me from trying to, my body was trying to turn inside out. Like, what the fuck? That was the worst, <laughs> that was the worst experience in my life. No, but for baby, real. That shit is painful. Shout out to Auntie Valerie for coming through with those permethazine pills, honey. That was about the only thing that could help me. And um, what else? What else helped me, babe? When I was sick, what was the only thing that actually helped me with my nausea and stuff? I drank Pedialyte a lot. You holding it in? Yes, please. And I'm like, no, you just want this, just got. No, literally, I will be. They get when I tell you if you are in the medical field or if you've ever you know dealt with you know medicine and shit. Zofran is like the strongest thing that they can give you for nausea. That's what they give mm-hmm. uh, people who are getting chemotherapy and shit like that. They give them Pregnant that medication. Yeah, they give them that medicine in order to keep them from being so sick. Mm-hmm. So that shit wasn't even helping me. What? Or no. That shit do wonders, too. That's what I'm saying. So that shit Zofran wasn't doing does nothing. Wonders. Baby, I hit that. That was good. Yep. My appetite came back, bitch. I was eating everything in the goddamn house. Before it, I don't want to even smell food. I don't want to think about food. I don't want to see no food commercials on my TV. No. Mm-mm. None of that. But we're here. Q win. Carter said, how you feeling? I said, mama, I'm not eating out another motherfucking grape. Another orange. I want some apple juice. I wanted some wings so bad. And my baby got me some. Mm. Oh, because baby, them was some dark days. I didn't think I was going to ever eat again. I promise. No appetite And I used to love mukbang. So when I opened up my YouTube and somebody eating, I just oh, put it away. I can't take it right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm done. But yeah. 
You got us government, but back on your ass. Cause here we are and we about to talk some shit. It is what it is. Damn it. We made it out. So fuck you COVID. You and all your little ugly ass variant kids. Fuck you and them kids. And we mean that. But anyway, we're here. Welcome back to the bank, bay. We finna get into these topics. And talk our shit. You ain't tell no, you know what you went through, bitch. You got me looking like I was just held up calling Ralph on the toilet by myself. Well, you didn't have the same symptoms as me. You was just I was in bed though. I was just, was just it's just anytime I moved, my body just was just killing me. I felt like I was about to die. I couldn't I girl, I couldn't imagine that last the call the day that it did. The so headache, you had the sensitivity it, to the light. And I had the gastro shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Constant headaches. See, no, I could, I really could not. No, ma'am. Yeah, no, ma'am. It wasn't cute. Oh no! And it's just like I don't go anywhere. The kids, the kids were with my aunt. I just, it was just quiet. Yeah, I was quarantined off. Yeah, I was in the room. My cousin walking around with lights all and bringing me stuff at the door with gloves on and all types of crap. My, my mom, my sisters, my dad. Sent me all types of shit. I mean, yeah. I still got soup and shit in there. Yeah, so, yeah. Shout out to everybody who family assisted with that, honey. It was yeah. it was who it was deep. Family. It was so. Auntie came through with the promethazine pills that that saved my life, but you know, family did their thing too with the vitamins and all that. So shout out to everybody who helped keep me alive. Right. But yeah, no, for real. <laughs> Cause, Cause that's what it felt like for real. I'm telling you, I was at I was at Jesus though, and that shit still made me go look at the stats and those who were vaccinated, and those who had I'm not got. Even about to get into. It I'm just saying, like everybody right. was sick. Mm-hmm. Everybody was sick. That's a problem. Two ladies who had come in that was, who 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 that was like oh, that's why I was like oh god thank you that it's not that bad yeah I mean she was rocking singing and everything and as she was vaccinated yep showed her car and all this other shit so it's like wow yeah. no matter what you do your ass is grass if you get sick so cuckoo kachoo vaxxers but we at the big bay love everybody so if you got a shot or decided not we still think you're hot Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, what is the most unusual fear that you have? I I don't know if it's unusual, but baby, I promise. I'm I'm knocking bitches neck, teeth, back, arms. I'm a bop, bip, bip. But if a bitch pull out a bug, she won the fight. I don't like anything crawling, flying, buzzing, nothing. But I love snakes and stuff. That's crazy. But I don't like, I don't like. I don't like insects. I don't like bugs. I hate them. And I have a very unusual fear of falling to my death. That's, I could see that. But it's like, I don't know. Like, I won't be nowhere near the edge of some shit. Like, I won't be nowhere it's near. It's just the fact that you up there. That, Damn my, it. Girl. <laughs> yes, I get it's it. Like, what if you just like, oh. You fall. Yeah, no you professional roll, this bitch. shit. Just walk. It. <laughs> just walk. For, am not I no professional crazy? for walking up this high. Am I crazy, bro? No. Am I crazy? So yeah, that bugs and falling to my death. Man, what's the unusual fear that you have besides the government? I think I had to say. Uh, and it's funny because that's what that movie was about. Don't look up. But some shit like that happening, a meteorite, an asteroid, mm-hmm. yeah, because there's nothing you could do about it. Nothing mm-hmm. you could do. <coughs> so I'm just going to sit down, roll up, and watch the motherfuckers Oh, happen. my God. And pray that we don't get eaten by a Bronto rock. Hey. <laughs> Unless that's our fate. All right, rather but. that than COVID, be honest with you. <sighs> that was cheap. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was cheap. Jesus. You didn't 
feel what I felt. You weren't there. I've never had a problem drinking the Powerade. It took me a, a week to finish one. And I never lost my taste or smell, so. No, I'm not going to give my show to COVID. What is your fucking unusual fear? Um, I don't know. I'm weird. I don't, I don't know. So you I just ain't scared of shit? No, I'm scared of a lot of things. I'm afraid of a lot of things, but I don't think they're unusual. You like a, You a titanium thug? No, I'm just, no. I'm just saying, I just don't think they're unusual. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, for real. I just don't think they unusual. Like one of my ma- my biggest fear is this like this motherfucker asked me if I had if it ever had a dream that, <laughs> I, that I went to hell and and but what <laughs> that's not an unusual fear. People scared to go to hell. What's unusual about that? But who dream about going? I'm telling you, you what happened. <laughs> I'm telling. <sorry. laughs> Guys, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you what happened. Your ass better get it together. No, I'm telling you. Immediately. I had a bad dream. Immediately. And dreams are. Nothing what, but your thoughts. Yes, there are. Or the last least, thing you thought about okay. before you fell asleep. So. And that's how, yeah. That's what happened. And then I woke up and was paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> which y'all, made it worse. Listen. Y'all need to get y'all ass in these comments and tell y'all girl to get the fuck right. But she take this damn show under. Somebody got a doll of your ass. I don't know who son you done fucked on and drove crazy. That was when it was when I was eight. When you was eight? Yeah, that's what I that, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. That's when you when you thought everything Ooh. you did bad, you okay. was going to hell for. How long? Okay. I'm still gonna put some salt or some sugar, or something at my dough just in case. Cause <laughs> bitch, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, for real, I, I was eight. No, for real, but I never forget. You don't it. have not now unusual fear. I mean, my biggest fear. Well, is, what? Well, what is a fear? My for biggest you? fear. My big biggest fear is a table talk with my kids when they get older. What? I'm. T- what? You don't know what it is. Okay. Them some crazy ass dreams. Like, I'm just saying. We still talking about this dream? <laughs> but you, but okay, it I'm stuck with like, me for a long it, time. You know what I'm saying? The table talk with the kids, too, that is a dream, too. That's like, you know. No, you when I said. Your kids yelling at you. You can't say nothing. That's that's a dream, Tiny. <laughs> like, that's, what? That's a, no, that sounds like a nightmare. It does. Wait, wait. Why you can't? What's wrong with the kids? It's nothing wrong with them, but, you know, you always have to. Like, the thing I always talk to my kids' father about is <coughs> how we parent. I, I was a young mother. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So, Tracy went through a lot with me. She grew up with me. <coughs> At some point, I'm going to have to sit down and have a talk with her. I mean, even though I'm transparent with her, I don't know what resonated and what stuck. We just kept moving forward. So, eventually, so like, she and I gonna, have to have a conversation where she, she has her to, point of view of it all. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But why is that scary, though? Because you don't... Some Kids suppress so much, even though me and Tracy have an open relationship. I, I don't... Say, I'm afraid so... of what she did suppress. And then why did I make her... And then you never want, like, me... You know the kind of... You know how I love but my kids. I don't, like, think you would, I don't think you could ever But that's that. my deepest... Get, but you're you going to feel your, that. You're going to feel that. That's my deepest fear. Because you don't give yourself enough credit. It's a lot of bitches like... I be saying all the time, but y'all like to make it seem like the men is out here fucked up. You bitches is <laughs> really on y'all last pair of panties bad out here on God. Yeah. Like you're terrible. You're fucked up. You're nowhere near what this man is in life. And you're trying you to hold the so much. Girl, you yeah. demand every motherfucking thing and you don't have a pot to piss in. The one to throw it out of. You ain't got the grass for it to land on. The bugs to run from the smell. The the ground to dry up from the acid. Because yeah. you don't drink fucking water. You don't have nothing. You don't have anything. So it's... 
you you got to give yourself more credit, bro. Like you bomb as fuck, and your relationship with Tracy is so very open. And I feel like just me, I'm just looking. I'm from the outside looking in because, like you said, we never really know what yeah. she could have suppressed. But because of the conversation that y'all have and how open y'all are, I feel like if it was anything that was just like, oh well, this, that, and the third, or I feel like I was slighted, or I feel like this was this, that, like I, if it was anything negative. Yeah. I feel like she would have had that conversation with you. Yeah. Absolutely. But she, yeah, she 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 does. I mean, we we sit and we talk or whatever, but it's still you just never know. So you but don't. It, that's the my you biggest don't. because of my childhood, have I have a mama. huge fear of being like Because when you tell your mama shit, we'll tell her how you feel about shit, she looking at you like you crazy and you like you yeah. couldn't tell that that's yeah. what I felt. I trust me, I know, honey. I just that's my but that's my biggest fear, like being a like a not being a good mom, like failing as a parent in a in a table talk I, with I my feel kids. It. I feel it. Don't nothing else. I mean, shit matter. You know what I'm saying? Like shit be mattering and shit. But like, bitch, you always gotta do that. Look at my shit. This bitch scared of being the bad mom, and here I am. I'm just I'm scared <laughs> to fall off some shit. Cause don't I mean I'm scared to fall off some <laughs> shit too. But it's just Shut like up. that's what I'm. Just, a, you know what? That's my big like. It make my heart just like go. Woof. <laughs> Like I be about, like I'm about to cry. People, like I'm for real. Like that shit is like the worst. Is gonna be like, and you afraid you on the hell? No, <laughs> dog on the hell. <laughs> no, you I did have that shit. dream. I did have that dream. No, for real. Be of some shit that matter. Dog, sit your ass down. Nah, I had. I, I I don't know. Dream dreams do bother me. Buzz and fall, they bitch. You too big. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. I just I don't know. I I know that my parenting style differs a whole lot from my mom, but I think yeah. it it comes in each generation where you remember how that shit felt, so you try you try each time to do something different or to change the way yeah. because you knew how it felt to pretty much not have a voice or not be able to say certain shit or do certain shit. Like yeah. we allow our kids, we have conversations with our kids, like actually having the conversation. That's why I was like, bro, it's. I don't think he could ever be my anything children wild. Talk. If y'all, if you ever were to have a right, that's what I'm my saying. My children so have if you were to ever sit yeah. down and have a conversation with them. I don't feel like it'll be this punching bag of you know what went wrong. I feel like they they would really let you know. Like we watched you hustle, we watched you figure yeah. that shit out, we watched you make a way when there really wasn't it wasn't one, one like, at hey, all. Hi y'all. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I still, but still, you know, you, you know, as they get older, they notice more. Hell, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. So I just For be like, the good Lord, and the fucking bad. I was like, Lord, now nah, so I know they really the watching again. Hiding, older, like I gotta be like, you keeping mm-hmm. from the other parent, <laughs> even though we can't see it, that baby see it. Yes, they might not know the word for it, but they know what the Hell, fuck going on. Yes, yes, like dead serious. So that's what I'm afraid of, just slipping up. I'm telling, like I'm telling you, that all you have, all you have to do, and ooh, getting hit oh. by a train. Okay, there we go. Thank you, shit. While in the car. <laughs> God damn. I don't never understand that because why don't you get out the car? Yeah. What if I can't? Listen, what our is, generation is fucked is, up. Wait, we uh, saw a Final Destination okay, and it fucked what, me up. What has happened to your door and all the doors in the car that you can't get out? I'm on Final your Destination. Shit okay. Try the passenger. Try the back seat. Is you only in the two? Like, what the hell? Why you only got this minute? Like, no. You need to move your ass. Hello? Yeah, but I, don't, no. I don't get that one. I, mean, no. I get from the movies and shit, but even in the movies. Just I imagine. Okay, y'all. Like, just imagine me in the car, right? And I'm stuck <laughs> on the railroad tracks. And the train is I coming. Mean, now, now, I will say, for me. It's no see. I done been on the road for real. So like them little wind ass roads. Uh-huh. I don't like with, those. With, see that type <laughs> shit falling off the edge of a cliff. Oh, I'm over with. That's what I'm saying. I'm that shit is. Listen, scary. in California, I, 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 I closed my eyes the whole ride up the mountain on the winding. I was no. Oh, oh, oh. Because why are you playing like nah, this? Why is this what it's wrong? Like, Chile and shit, and they be on them fucking cliffs, and you can't see around the corner. And this nigga, this big ass. I don't like them either. They riding in the back of the truck. That's why I'm scared. That's why I'm scared to uh, visit certain places. Be doing doing this shit. No, that's why I'm scared to visit certain places. Because it's nothing that you can do. There's nothing you can do. You on somber. There is nothing that you can do, especially if you're in the car. You absolutely fucked. 
But if you fall just yourself, just free fall off the side of some shit, yeah. there is nothing, nothing you, can, you can, do can do unless you can grab, grab all a hold of, some of shit, a branch or something. On, right. like, those folks uh-uh. that shit fell on the other day. Yeah, that's crazy. When well, they was in them the boats. two people died, 17 no, no, injured. It's, no, it's like 10 people died now. N- Damn. I, I told you it was going to go up, and I followed it. it. It's like 10 people mm. died now. And, um... Yeah, even in that situation, because what you gonna do? You can't, you can't swim away. You can't, you literally can't do that. Fucked up. I tell you, that's what I said. But no, it ain't never gonna be that. I, 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 I feel like, ooh, damn, that sounds slow. <laughs> um, I feel like just like like I was saying earlier, your kid, your kids are very smart, bro. And I feel like as long as you're doing your best, like really doing your best, paying them attention, you know. Yeah. They they know. They know the difference. They know a sorry motherfucker, I'm telling you. And your kids, especially. Your kids are very smart. So, yeah. They're, they, they're, they're vocal. Baby, baby. They're vocal, for sure. Something, yeah. What's the craziest thing you've done in an argument? Uh, I picked up a TV and threw it at him over his mama head. I meant it's just argument with anybody, but <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever done in an argument. Babe, what's the craziest thing you've done in an argument? I won't I won't I won't pick what I'm I would <laughs> Oh yeah, I pass. <laughs> See? <laughs> Cause my memory ain't too good, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I I'd, I'd rather just pass. I don't want nobody in the comment talking about no. I remember seeing you at no none of that. I don't know. I just say I pass. Ain't nothing violent, no shit like that. Oh, you know. <laughs> I pass. Ah, tiny like no, nigga. Somebody, somebody got slapped. <laughs> Down. Look, <laughs> that's what it sound like. That's what it sound like. Oh God. No. Oh, Something you know what I say, Jack? I mean, you play an old ever. We believe, Nini. Your turn. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We we go. I told y'all my battle word, and ain't no why I'm telling y'all. Oh no, man! Come on. Toe up. Shut your cat. <laughs> See, that's just because you've been speaking on the podcast. You got the platform. <coughs> I ain't got the platform, so I can't speak. My, I be waking up, shins be hurting and shit. <coughs> my shins. What the fuck I do to my shins in my sleep? Come on now. Elbows and shit. Weird that body parts hurt. I know something going on. It's okay. Y'all can't see, but I am blinking hard as shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm, I'm just saying, in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> tearing your shins. Tearing your shins up. Absolutely not. <laughs> Who would do that? That's dumb. <clears throat> what's the question? Uh, what's the greatest thing <laughs> you've done in an argument? Ooh. Hmm. Listen. What? Sometimes you just gotta listen. That's crazy. Yeah, for a woman. Oh, really? Cause no, I be listening. So I can remember everything you said. Right. I be <laughs> I be listening. So on June twelfth for next year, when mm-hmm. I ask you the same question and you give you me better a give me the answer. same answer. I, I had I, my homegirl, Nisi. Shout out to Pinky. She would run. I mean, she would catch niggas up. Oh, no, 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 uh-uh. no, 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 no. This, this <laughs> oh, this day, said, this what she said. She no, for real. She would back like a goddamn yes. Rolodex. I'm not lying. Got a nigga saying, uh, 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 uh. I'm like, oh, no, no. It's too late to sound like, uh, like T-Mobile service. <laughs> what, what's up? Why? What's what happened? Why the story ain't the same? But no, what's the crazy thing I done? Argument. I tried to break a guy's window, but that was only because he really like he tried it. it. And it's crazy because I be about to laugh when I say this shit because I know people don't believe me, but I'm not a violent or an angry person. 
I'm not an angry. You fuck, fuck you. You're not angry or violent. You be chilling. You do. As long as ain't nobody fucking with you, you be all right. Put it on the cheese. For real. Put it on the cheese. For real, you all right. Put it on the cheese. You're not violent. Put it on the cheese. What cheese? Say on the cheese. No, I don't want to say that. Put it on the cheese. So it's because I know you're lying. You're not, you're not violent. Put it on the cheese. But you're not violent. Because <laughs> I have to think about certain instances. Put it on the cheese. No. Nah, I- this motherfucker <laughs> said I have to think about it. <laughs> Y'all don't know that. Because sometimes you got to be violent, people. And sometimes... <laughs> But when it's time I mean, to be like violent, a, she will get violent. I but she, like but that doesn't mean you're a violent Girl. person. You think that makes you a violent person? If we ever in trouble, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I gotta think about it. I gotta tell you the truth. <laughs> like what? You're not. You're not a violent person. I'm not. No. I'm not, and I'm not. Shut up, Tiny. I'm telling you. It's just you the worst. People if you have ever. to. <laughs> <laughs> that's self defense. That, that's their problem. I love you so much. I'm just trying to tell the truth. I promise I do you my favorite. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to leave after we finish. Am I employee yet? Am I? I prefer a button that says Girl, you're button. not getting no goddamn button. Why the fuck not? Moving on. I don't even know what I said. All right. I gave you a gift. And you liked it. What's I the best it. birthday experience you've ever had? It could be yours or it could be like somebody else's. Um, I was pregnant in my family for five days. I had no idea they was in there too. Oh. I've never had a surprise party before. They got me good, honey. They're like, we're going to stop by the house of grass. And it's normally me that's on the surprise committee, even though I can't really. I always ain't been told. That's why I get told, but I get told, like, last. Like, absolutely. Absolutely last. And I mean, the day before type shit. Like, look, bitch, listen, okay? Hold it down. <laughs> Hold it down. But, yeah. So for me to end up being the one that gets fried, this shit was it was girl sandwich platter, you know, mama cook, girl. And I was a big bitch, so I could I could, you eat. could eat. No judgment, yeah. You was good to go. I was heavy, baby. They got pictures of me with them plates that will never hit the internet, <laughs> cause <laughs> no, ma'am. But yeah, um, mine is. When I went to California. Hmm. That was like the most. That car was clean as fuck and it looked so pretty. It was, girl, everything was just, to me, it was just breathtaking. Because it was just, you could feel like vibes. Mm -hmm. Like you could feel it when you wake up in the morning. Like because the time was off getting up at 630 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then like looking out, like how the sun shine. Like the sunshine is different there. That like the early morning sunshine at least mm-hmm. it was just such a peaceful it was just peaceful I ain't do it too much gorgeous you talking about sun kissed skin yes, yeah man. I ain't really like I went to the beach and we, you know we, we did all of that that little stuff but you know as far as the club scene you know I ain't getting into none of that beach, everybody was still sick we yeah just to the, yeah we so we the sat there but the right. the Airbnb of course we in California so it was smoker friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had ashtrays in each room, girl. And we was it was just a lit experience. It was a vibe. Hmm. It was a vibe. Yeah, and I liked the food. Like it was just so it was just relaxing though, because I, I did. I had I had a hard year. Mm-hmm. I had I had a hard year since my last birthday. So mm-hmm. it was very shout out to Tay. It was real good. It was yeah, that was the best birthday experience ever. I never forget that one. Do you have one or not? This is when he's recording us. Don't even know what session we're in. I'm, 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 I
see that tone of voice lets me know that you beat me. <laughs> I don't what? <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. What? <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? What? I need the energy from me. You never have it. <laughs> but it's what? okay. I'm done. <laughs> what the hell did that come from? No. Because <laughs> I just needed you to, to agree. No. What's the, no. What's the best birthday experience you've ever had? Best birthday experience. Let's exclude all bitches. So if a bitch did I it. I wasn't even going there, bro. Oh, you know, okay, I don't care about I'm no just saying. bitches. Anyways, um, I had to say it'd be my 20th birthday. Um, that was the first time I did LSD. And that was the best fucking birthday ever. That was the most enlightening shit I ever had happen to me. And, hey, it is what it is. You ask the question, I'm going to answer the motherfucking shit. Wrong with psychedelics, man. It's not. I was gonna say my husband's so trippy. No, it's like that was my best birthday ever, man. Like, I think about that shit very often. And how often do you think about it? <laughs> if you're thinking about LSDs, very oh often. my god. Y'all see what I go through? You know, I'm just saying, last episode the people saw you want you was polyamorous Paul. Definitely not. And now here we go. You just can't get your mind off Lucy and this guy with diamonds. Where am I? Right the fuck down. (laughs) Shut. (laughs) You like, what the fuck? That's where you be. What do I got to do to? Right the fuck down. (laughs) They see me, they see you. Right the fuck down. We're going to have these people thinking we got a relationship <laughs> like the real housewives of Potomac. But I don't have shit. her back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't got her back. Girl, shut up. You don't. You ahead. Me Diddy, you don't like... stand out here and tell these folks you going to beat them, hit them with a car, jump off a roof behind Kim Bay like a million times. <clears throat> Man, you, and then you want me to contradict your words. <laughs> and I'm saying with reason. <clears throat> now, I'm the wrong one. Then you want people to think, Kim Bay beat you. Then what else, Kim Bay? I don't know. It's everything. Because she right well. <laughs> right the fuck down. <laughs> I just want to say that, see, that tone of voice lets me know that you beat me in my sleep. I want to hear you were. You look like the type that can astro project. Nope. You've never left your body. No. On your way to hell in that dream. I think everybody astro project. That's true. I feel like. I feel like you and you that lose shit, that shit, shit when you, you become wake up. an adult. No, when you get older. No, nah, because you it. When you wake up. When you wake I up. I talk about that shit all the time. When you wake up. One day, you literally just wake up. And you have responsibilities. Yeah. And you have shit to do. And you just. Well, that's what I'm saying. When you become an adult. And you are not able to tap into your. You didn't choose the Imagination and shit one no more. you worried about what cereal. You, you know what I'm saying? What cereal. The mm-hmm. biggest. The biggest decision going. you got to make is. What cereal you going to eat. And then a couple of years later. You got bills and shit. Which is why I'm so adamant about you know what? Let me let me shut up because that'll be another conversation on another day. Let's let the kids continue to be kids. Kids shouldn't be worried about adult shit. But yeah, moving on. So I have you a question. Um, she sent me, and I don't know if y'all are familiar with um my favorite couple in the whole wide world. Um, I don't. I can't remember if I saw them on Instagram first. If I saw them on, um, or if I saw them on uh, Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. I can't remember which one it was, but it is um, Deval and his wife. Yeah. So I love their um, their cool. connection with each other. I love their family. Like I love it. I absolutely love them. 
So the question was asked about the recent video that he posted where he said, um, I don't miss doctor's appointments or school appointments. My boys need to know that I am always there. But most importantly, anyone in my boys' lives need to understand that dad is present and active. People move different when they know dad is around. And so she wanted to ask the question of whether or not we feel like that's true, whether or not, you know, if the father is present in the baby's life, is the mother treated different in regards to, like, when they ask questions about school or when they go to doctor's appointments, when they go to athletic events or just anything in general? Is the, the treatment for the woman different when there is a male figure also present? Is she given just a little bit more respect than a, than a woman who is uh, single and raising a baby? I'm not sure. I said that... Because I don't know about everyone else's experiences. You know. I said that it depends on where you are, I guess. Because I've seen in doctor's office where the single mother, whatever, she may get like slighted or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you have a father that's there, that's also asking questions, that's want to know what's going on by my baby's charts or this, oh, yeah, that, and the such third. A like, happy family. Right. Like you get a little bit more attention or you get a little bit more assistance because you, you moving as a whole unit versus just you as a single mother, you know, motherfuckers already look down on you anyway. It's always the mama fault. And sometimes it is. Some of y'all hoes ain't shit I told you that. But, you know, in a way, I, I kind of get what he's saying when he said the treatment is different when the father is around. Because, like I said, y'all, like y'all a unit. It's a whole family, like. Yeah. And it's like, if y'all, like, let's just be real, it's a man's world. It is. Women have a lot of influence. We can kind of, you know, move our shit the way we move it, but at the end of the day, these corporations, these companies, these everything is 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 male. It is men. So it's a difference in the woman coming in and raising her voice and saying whatever the fuck and dad. It's like even with the kids, your mom, mama can say, mm -hmm. sit down and shut up ten times, but they got that. Hey, mm -hmm. that shit, that shit shut the party down. It just, it just do. So maybe it's authoritative. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this bitch always talking about, yeah. I'm like, no. Help me. <laughs> what is the word? I guess it's the, <laughs> I took assertiveness. Maybe that's what it is. Assertive. Um, authority. Authoritative, Authorit authority, authoritation, authority, you like gonna throw nothing out there? No, <laughs> <laughs> bae, but is it's a Authority. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't do that. I'm dyslexic. Come on, now. Authority. Tiny, what is the word? Tiny, tiny. Shit. <laughs> oh, Tommy ain't shit. She just leaned you smile. <laughs> because <laughs> she know what's going on. <laughs> You can have a word like right there at the tip of your tongue. <laughs> you just gonna let me struggle you. Oh, cause I did you know. <laughs> <coughs> Whatever. And anyway. you know you know it. A thor moving on. You know what I mean. They got authorities, Words. Okay, moving on. We can't I'm remember not about which one it was. I'm not, but that that may be what they talk about. Like they have just a little more of that masculine. Yes, that masculine, that masculine energy, energy to get all this shit together. Snapping it. 
Yeah, I kind of get what she was saying, though. It makes sense. I get it. Girl, you done confused the couch. Don't you ask her shit else. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but... I get it. Screen your question next time. But, mm, yeah. Anyway, we made it through. We're here. We love y'all. And make sure you tune in every Wednesday and Friday for the new episode. Sorry, I got a little stuck there, y'all. Told y'all we just coming out of the hole. But, yeah, every Wednesday and Friday we drop a new episode so make sure y'all tune in and, and watch that shit god damn it we got some new material coming for y'all and the finale is going to be one for the motherfucking books i'm telling y'all it's gonna be Say it. it's gonna be Say interesting it. so just know please tune in for that you do not want to miss it we love y'all we miss y'all we so glad to be back and we'll see y'all on the next fucking episode y'all take care of y'all selves for real this shit is, is bad we love y'all bye